Hello, my name is Camille Schenken and I'm the Program Director for Next Generation Initiatives here at Center Theatre Group. We've put together some tips for applying for jobs and internships, specifically within the arts, but really these are pretty best practice tips. So if you're applying for internships outside of the arts or jobs within another sector, hopefully this can be helpful for you as well. It really comes down to telling your story and making the case for yourself. Most of the time when people are not considered for a job or internship, it's because we're missing information from them in some way. This can be enough information to want to meet them. This can be information about why they're the best one for the job. So hopefully what I'm about to share with you will help you craft applications that are strong enough to get people to want to meet you in person, which is really what resumes and cover letters are intended to do. All right, as you're getting ready to apply, First, you should think about whether you're applying to a job or an internship because your process is going to be a little bit different as you approach each one. An internship has an educational component. In our internship program, we're looking for the student who would benefit the most from participating in our program. That means if you already have had a very similar internship or conversely, if you have no experience and no demonstrated interest in that area, it's really hard for us to understand why we should select you. So you do need to say why you need the internship to achieve specific career goals. Jobs, on the other hand, we're looking for the person who's qualified and who actually seems to want to be in that position at our organization. So let's say you see a job or an internship that interests you. Before you apply, ask yourself these three questions. First off, will it help you? You have three, maybe four times to intern before you're gonna be looking for full-time jobs. So I really encourage you to be selfish. Think about what you need from an internship to achieve those career goals. If you're not sure what your career path is, that's okay. Go with something that interests you, something that you're curious about. I will say that if you don't already have what I call demonstrated interest in an internship or job, you have an uphill battle convincing us that you're the best one for the position. That doesn't mean it's not possible, it just means you're gonna have to do some storytelling. Number two. Did you do your homework and is that clear from your materials? By homework, I mean your research. Each organization or business is very different. If you're applying for a marketing associate job at a theater company with four people, it's gonna look a lot different than if you're applying for a marketing associate job at a theater company with 100 people. Remember that working for a smaller company means that jobs are going to have breadth whereas working for a larger company means jobs are gonna have depth. Now, what does that mean? If I am in a department of three people, it's a marketing department, I'm gonna probably work on social media, communications, advertising, I'm gonna do a lot of different things. If I'm one person in a marketing department of 30 people, my job is gonna be a lot more focused going to have more depth. Maybe I only do social media, but I do it all the time, or I only do advertising and I do it all the time. Spend a lot of time on the company's website, figure out how big they are, what they focus on, really spend time with that job description. What are they actually saying this person will do? Just the title alone is not enough. If you're going for a nonprofit or an arts organization, look at their mission statement and look at the type of art that they do and use your materials to express why you're interested in working with that specific mission and or specific type of art making. So here at CTG, we do not produce a lot of classics. So if all of your materials focus on Shakespeare and how much you love Shakespeare, it's hard for me as an employer to understand why you're applying for this company, which is mostly focused on contemporary work. Did you make the case for why you're the best person for the job? Basically, it's time for you to ask, would you hire you? And this image is my favorite visual representation of that. This is a cat riding a unicorn. Your job with a job application is to make sure you are the cat riding a unicorn. You are the best one given your background, your unique skills, your interests, what the actual requirements of the job or internship are. Are you the best one to be in that position? Now one thing that you may not think about is that a lot of people with your educational background and your level, so for example, all of the seniors in college are gonna have very similar resumes. We're not necessarily looking for the person who can do the job or who can perform the duties of the internship. We're looking for the person who's the best fit. 
So that's where the storytelling comes in. Being able to say, these are all of the things that I'm interested in. These are all of the reasons why I should have the job. Here's how I can be the best person for this job. And one thing that I want you to think about, if something sounds fun and that's why you're applying, it may sound fun to everyone else too. So for example, in a recent semester, we offered a casting internship. We had more than 40 applicants for that casting internship. We also offered a donor engagement internship. Now, if you read the job descriptions for both of them, they were extremely similar. The interns would be doing almost identical work for this company. But we had only two applicants for the donor engagement internship because the title of it didn't sound as interesting. So I encourage you to move beyond titles and think about, okay, if this is standing out to me, is it standing out to everyone else too? Can I look a little bit more closely?